This is uh, Chris Ockley here at the 2011 uh, Missouri Relays here with Matt Prescott, who uh, just set PR, two PRs this weekend in the 100 and the, yes. and the uh, 100 hurt, 110 hurdles. Mm -hmm. Okay, well tell just about where you're from and what high school you went to. I uh, graduated high school from James Cook, Missouri, uh, in the North Central area, a little small town, 1A school. Um, you know, ran track there all through junior high and high school. And I uh, ended up going to Central Missouri State. Yeah, how things go there with with, uh, with the mule. My, loved my time there. Uh, great coach, great team. Yeah. Great, great experiences. Yeah. Um, couldn't ask for much more than that. Yeah. What What were some I mean, any particular highlight or anything that stood out of your ex time there? I mean, Through eight laps of our race, race, two to go. Jefferson City yeah. leads. We definitely progressed. You know, every yeah. year. Um, strength wise and speed wise, hurdle wise stuff like that, again, a lot of knowledge. What a tough conference to compete in, the top top conference in the country, no doubt about that. So, yeah. A lot of so. great athletes to come out of the United States. Yeah. Sure. But what happened after you finished finish there? Um, I moved to Columbia. Okay. I got a job at Wilson's Total Fitness as a personal trainer. Um, did the substitute teaching thing for the cool. school district, yeah. Columbia Public Schools. I uh, took a few years off. I always knew I wanted to come back at some point in time to, do, uh, to continue training. Yeah. I just refused to believe that at my age I left the best of my years behind me. Right, right. In Central Missouri, so I just still had a passion for it. You know, cool. The coaching and it just I was you know, itching to get back on the track. Yeah. So when did you start back training? When did you start uh, helping a Rockbridge coach? Uh, this is my fourth season, so okay. season 08. The 08 okay. Season. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you, you hook up with, with well, Wayne so here and start to start working with him. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, one of the guys City I used to run with at Central. He's a little older than I am, Andy Gilmore. Sure. Um, high jumper there. Yeah. I trained with him for quite some time after uh, graduated post collegiate. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of caught him in the gym. He's like, you think you'd, you know, yeah. Wanna spend some time with me. I want to make sure I'm worth your time, so I started right. training on my own. It's like, well, it's kind of for me to decide. <laughs> you so, better get with it, yeah. I believe we hear it's the names of you know, Brianna Watson, and Nicole Mello. The Those are the two anchor runners for their respective teams, Jefferson City oh. and Hickman. I was Hickman. a little overweight at the time, he was, so yeah. um, he's definitely with me in a pretty good shape. Uh, best shape I've ever been in my life, actually. A 124 so, yeah. last lap. The exciting thing is that we still have a long ways to go. As much as we're the leader. Best. Yeah. Had a great indoor season at the Missouri Collegiate Challenge. You qualified for USAT ATF Indoors. Yes, Matt, let's get in my team. Yes, it was good. It was an uh, amazing experience to actually, you know, have things come together all the way. Yeah. Um, but still looking back at video and knowing with the six weeks and things here and there. Yeah. But just ex an amazing experience at Nationals all together. It didn't go the way I hoped it would. Right. First time on the national stage. Oh, you know, it was I'd love, you know, I'm sure most people love to have that resume saying they qualified for the U.S. National it Championship. It was really neat to see so. some of the best athletes in the country go do what they do. Yeah. So just to be among them was yeah. just a, a, an unbelievable experience. No, yeah. Hopefully we can get back there. Uh, in June, in order. Yeah. Good facility, like the facility that Albuquerque. Go, and Jefferson really, really, really City nice continues facility. to lead. Yeah. 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 I don't think I've ever run on a faster track. Yeah. You know, with as poor as I ran that day, um, I still put it in one of the second, like the second best time I've ever run. Right. So yeah. it just makes me go back and think, you know, if I put everything together, right, what right. We could we have been, you know, where could we have been that day instead? You know, that Jefferson day. City right, holds on right. after the battle early. Amazing and good effort. Yeah, in and you're, you're, uh, meter part, you said you're Jays going back, getting a deg uh, another degree at, at Columbia College, yeah. and then still and uh, so, and working with Rockbridge. What's that like working with uh, the high schoolers? Other, Absolutely yeah. Love it. It's a joy. It's um. Teaching and coaching has always been it for me, professional-wise. Yeah. Uh, it's never really been anything else. You know, I, I know why I want to teach. I know why I want to coach. Right. For, for a while it was basketball, but you know, the, you know, after every single season I've spent with Rockbridge and the staff that I work with and the kids, it's just that's the sport I want to work with. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I just I love the sport. Yeah. I love what it allows us to teach each one right. of us on an individual level. There's so many life lessons we can teach them. You know that will translate off the track as well, right. you know, as, well as on, so yeah. it's great. Well, what's your competition schedule like now in the outdoor season? I'm sure you've got a busy coaching schedule, so what meets are you going to be able to fit in? And what, I'm sure, you're, I'm sure your goal is just to qualify yes. for U.S. Outdoors at, at Eugene. Absolutely. Um, looking to go to maybe Central Methodist next weekend. Um, my coach just told me today he wants to try to get me into Drake relays. Cool, so yeah. we we'll make that happen. Um, I went to Arkansas last year once. I'm not entirely sure when that, what the date is for that. Yeah. Or if we'll be able to go again this year. But, cool. Uh, as the season starts to get towards April and May, there's a lot of conference tournament or conference uh, meets and stuff like that, which makes it a lot harder for me to find. Right. Meets, right. Know, for athletes like me to find competitive meets so we can you know, continue to yeah. make that push for you know, postseason stuff. So. Cool.
Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, congratulations on all your success and just uh, wish you a good season. Hopefully we'll, we'll hear, keep hearing more good things about you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right.